वंदे मातरम एंड सलाम टू ऑल माय इरानियन फ्रेंड्स फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम आई हैव बीन गेटिंग रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम इंडियन एनआरआईज एंड फ्यू ऑफ माय इरानियन फ्रेंड्स दैट आई शुड कम अप विद एस्ट्रोलॉजिकल वीडियो अबाउट द करंट सिचुएशन गोइंग ऑन इन ईरान द वे सिटीजन ऑफ ईरान दे आर डूइंग द प्रोटेस्ट एंटी हिजाब प्रोटेस्ट अगेंस्ट द गवर्नमेंट एंड द वे वी हैव सीन इन द मीडिया वेयर गवर्नमेंट इज बींग वेरी वेरी क्रूअल अगेंस्ट देयर सिटीजन्स एंड फ्यू सिटीजन हैव बीन किल्ड ऑल्सो एंड इन विच वन ऑफ द केस वॉज अबाउट महा महासा अमीनी and uh, after this episode many of uh, iran's celebrities their singers actor actresses has also started joining this anti hijab protest and the current news of the media is the government they started confiscating their passports so friends uh, today i'm going to discuss about the situation of iran that uh, when would this uh, protest will get over and uh, the citizens of iran who are fighting for their rights would get would be able to successful uh, to make this protest successful if you uh, yes before we go ahead i just want to say uh, that it's uh, hats off to all the iranian women and all the citizens the way they have been fighting against the government for their fundamental rights and they want to change their constitution also for the modernization and against this this radical islam also before we go ahead about the astrological combination friends i have uh, given one video one last uh, video before this video about the solar eclipse that is going to be on 25th of october 2022 if you have gone through that video i have mentioned that this solar eclipse is falling in libra sign which is the debilitated sign of sun and sun indicates about the leadership politics and when the sun is debilitated in the libra sign it is a clear indication that the government of all the countries their politician would try to cover up their mistakes and they would try to do something that you know they would try to divert their citizens attention to somewhere else so they would do something in that uh, parameters to cover up their mistakes so if you see the horoscope of uh, iran this is a cancer ascendant chart and jupiter is placed in the first house so uh, being an astrologer whenever we see jupiter's position in the first house uh, there is a clear indication that person should be orthodox the person should be very very religious and uh, if the combinations goes in such a way where jupiter is the lord of a ninth house and placed in the first house so this condition can meet in one condition only in cancer ascendant chart only so here both the conditions are meeting that he in this chart ninth lord is jupiter ninth is a house of religion so if the jupiter it is in the first house so what we should understand with this that the person should be extremely devoted about their religion but here we are talking about the iranian government the same combination as for the medini jyotish as for the mundane astrology goes to this iran chart also iranian government that iranian government will follow radical islam and following and implementing this radical islam they will go to any extent the way they have been uh, going since last two month 
So the question is, uh, would it go like this? No friend, it won't go like this and uh, that's why I'm here today to analyze everything. So current, uh, if we see the current uh, Mahadasha, the periods, the Dasha periods. So Jupiter is going on currently. So definitely the Jupiter is uh, indication, the religiousness and under the Jupiter, the sub period is of uh, sun and it would remain till 15th December 2023 and currently solar eclipse is going to start also on 25th October. And as I mentioned that solar eclipse would uh, leave its impression for next three months about all the uh, against all the citizens if the government would be wrong at their place. And here sub period is also of sun and sun being the lord of second house, second house in this chart is indicate that this is a house of Marka that is a sure but uh, Leo sign which is a sign of Sun in second house Sun's enemy Rahu and Saturn along with Gulika are placed in the second house which is giving the indication of mass death so this is my uh, message to all my Iranian friends that uh, be careful and I'm not saying that they should come out of uh, this uh, protest the way they want to uh, win their, they want to uh, fight for their rights, for their fundamental rights. But here they should be very, very careful about their, this situation of the, these planets also. This situation is, situation is indicating that uh, government would uh, go into too much of frustration that they, government would try their, their best to uh, not to listen to the public and the way they are doing at this moment, they would keep on doing it. So, if we see the sub sub period of Saturn, which has been started since, uh, yeah, which is uh, going to start, yeah, which has already been started from 3rd of October and it would remain till 18th of November 2022. Now, this period it indicates that in Cancer Ascendant Lagna. Saturn being the Marka planet, Malefic planet, Markesh planet is already placed in the death house, mass death house. So this protest will be flared up till 18th November 2022. And uh, so friends, I cannot see any betterment till this time. But uh, now the, there must be a lot of questions from you people that how long it would go. What would be the right time where people would be able to have their fundamental rights or any partial amendment in the constitution. So if you see the Saturn in the current situation of the Saturn, Saturn is uh, currently in transit is there in Capricorn sign and in this chart Saturn is placed in the seventh house in transit and has a tenth aspect on fourth house. What it mean? That fourth house is a house of a citizen, public. So when Saturn is aspecting on this house being a Marka planet, this is not good for their citizens and until and unless unless this Saturn won't change its uh, sign till then situation will remain like this so Saturn will transit in Aquarius on 17th January 2023 so I can see a hope after this time but not the uh, hope maybe few people must be thinking that uh, 
इन ईरान सिचुएशन गुड सिचुएशन कैन बी वेरी गुड लाइक यू ए दैट द वे देयर गवर्नमेंट हैज डन लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स फॉर देयर वीमेन देयर राइट्स बट हियर आई कैन सी दिस सिचुएशन वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट आफ्टर फिफ्टीन दिसंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री आफ्टर आफ्टर दिस सन सब पीरियड वुड बी कबर्ड सो करेंटली सिंस इट इज ऑपरेशनल सो आई कैन सी सम पार्शियल अमेंडमेंट इन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आफ्टर सेवनटीन जनवरी 2023 so friend this is the answer of your question after this period i can't see any uh, anti hijab protest in a very big way it will be lighter after then and government would start working on your rights so again i would uh, we would being uh, be all indian we, we would pray for your safety so be careful and all the best take care so bande matram salam and bharat mata ki jai